We are going to make a pig from the three little pigs. We're going to start with a square of paper and just trace a circle in the middle. We can use a black crayon to make a nose. I'm making really gentle lines for the edges of his head. And look, that whole square is his head. Here's how I'm going to make the legs. I'm going to divide my paper in half and in half again. And then I'm just going to cut. Reminds me a little bit of your giraffe. Here's how I make them look like pig's feet. I cut little triangles out of the bottom. And suddenly, I am going to have four pig appendages. So I will cut out my pig. And even though my film is sped up, I know you will do careful cutting. Look at how I can sneak into this little awkward spot. And there is my pig. I can choose where I want to put the pig's arms and legs. Look at this. I can make different gestures with the arms. You can decide. When I go to glue it on, remember just a little bit of glue to match my fingernail. I use a little bit and watch this. I'm going to stick it underneath the pig and hold it down. I'll do the same with the other leg and hold it down. I want to make sure everything's stuck on well because my pig is going to be free and easy. And now my pig needs some clothes. So after you've chosen some papers, look at this little trick. I'm going to draw a circle and fold it and cut through two pieces of paper at one time. Wow! And that he he helps me make a couple of eyeballs. And if I want little black pupils in my eyeballs, look at this. I'll do that same trick again. I'll fold the paper in half and just cut out one circle to give me two pupils. They're a little stuck together. Here we go. I think I'll make a mouth. And now I think I want to make some pants. So I'll lay my paper down and kind of imagine where those legs are. Sometimes just guessing is good enough. And those shorts look like they fit pretty well. My color is toenails. And there isn't much holding those pants up. And I notice a little extra paper on each side. I think I will cut the paper a little bit smaller and look at this. I can turn those into suspenders. <laughs> I think I'll make my pig fancy and I'll draw a necktie which I know you can't see because the paper is so dark. But I'll cut out a necktie. Could be a bow tie. And now he looks fancy. <laughs> I need to glue everything down. So I'll go through and I'll pick everything up, glue it all down, make sure that it's going to stay put. And when it's all down, my pig is done. He's going to look cool against this brick wall. Let's say I want to make a pig who's wearing a skirt instead. Here, I'm going to start with different eyeballs just to see what I can do that's a little bit different than the last time. I think I'll make a skirt. I'm just laying it on top and kind of guessing where to draw. Sometimes that's the best way to try it. 
you can cut a little bit and place it and see if you like it. I'm going to make a bright, bright shirt, but this seems hard. I'm not sure where to put things. I'm going to make a big scoop so I avoid that nose. Doesn't look so bad. So I'll just keep cutting a little bit off at a time. See how it goes. Cool. Looks like I have some left over I can use for sleeves. Maybe I can even make a bow for this pig's hair. And this pig needs a mouth. I'll try a different mouth than I tried for the other pig. <gasps> there she is. She looks fancy. So you'll need to make eyes, a mouth, some clothes, and anything else you want. By the way, you're going to help me with the brick walls. This is how it works. This is printmaking. I've got paint on a sponge, and I am pressing down these bricks on this piece of paper. And I've done a lot of the bricks for you, but I want you to help me do the last few bricks on the paper. And there, my brick wall is done. And I will put my pig on top of that brick wall. It'll probably be the second day when our pigs are finished and they go on the brick wall when the brick wall is dry. There it is. <laughs>